What is going on everyone? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So today's gonna be a little bit different type of video. I don't really do these too much, but I get a lot of questions in the comments and I try to do my best to responding to all the comments out there. But I've been getting a bunch lately about what I'm doing and, and where the channel's going and I'd say the biggest one is what do I do for a living? So today's video is just gonna be kind of talking to you guys from day one of YouTube to where we're at now and, and what we're doing. Don't worry, I know you guys like the action pack videos. It's going to be filled with clips of everything, pretty much my life. Every single clip I record for YouTube I save, so to say I have a ton is an understatement. And I pretty much have enough to cover what I've been doing for the past two and a half years of my life here, so I guess let's get into it. So for those of you guys that don't know, uh, I am John Doc on YouTube. And uh, sitting next to me is the Calmero, and this is kind of what really started it all back when I was, I think, a senior in college. Uh, it was a junior, senior year that summer. I was watching a bunch of YouTube and automotive vlogging was just starting to, I guess, take off. And I said, hey, I got a badass car. It just got built by RPM Motorsports in kind of its first stage uh, with the single turbo setup. No cage, factory seats, made 700 wheel horsepower on pump gas on 12 pounds of, or on 10 pounds of boost. And um, I was like, hey, I see these other guys making videos with Corvettes. Uh, that are bone stock or some, some cars with some wheels on it. This is so badass. Why don't I show the people? And what I did was I went and uh, my buddy had a little camera DSLR and I started filming and I had no idea what I was doing or no idea what I was getting into and really no, um, no idea where it would take me, but I was just like, well, let's give it a shot and try. At that point in time, I was going to Campbell University down here in, uh, it was in Boys Creek, North Carolina and I was studying, uh, I was finishing up my business degree and I was getting all my PGA certifications because for those of you guys that don't know, uh, I am technically a PGA golf professional. So not a touring pro, but I would teach lessons and uh, do merchandising, work at a golf course as an assistant professional. And I did that for a little while until I started working at RPM Motorsports, which is where I get a ton of questions. So I went to RPM Motorsports, very green, really not knowing much about anything, but I kind of knew how to market some stuff a little bit, just from what I learned off YouTube. And Ryan at RPM said, oh, let's give it a shot. And I started doing the, the marketing there. I mean, the marketing position then turned into a sales position. And I really did learn the industry and learn a lot about cars and learn about how they work and what works with what. And that kind of gave me the foundation and the knowledge to grow into, I'd say, where, where I am today. Uh, but my run at RPM Motorsports was an absolute dream. When I went there and took my car there as a customer, I said to my mom, I said, hey, I would love to work there. Like, it just seems like the best place to work. Be around all these guys that are building high performance cars and it's just a badass place to be. And uh, I was lucky enough to kind of land my dream job there and um, I'd say progress into um, a sales position where you know, I was dealing with customers, I was building packages, people would come to me and say, hey, I wanna make this much horsepower and I'd have the freedom and they'd have the trust in me to put a package together, sell it to them and put it on their car and they'd go down the road tickled and do burnouts and smoke tires and, and have all that fun. And that kind of brings me to where I am today, which is YouTube. So uh, at the start of this year, I, I made the decision to make the jump to YouTube full time, which is an absolutely frightening decision. Uh, but uh, it was kind of one of those things where I was close enough to have it generate enough income to be kind of like a full-time job, but not quite, but I didn't have enough time during the day, focus and, and effort to put towards YouTube to make the jump to do it full-time. So that is what I've done lately. And all throughout this, the channel has been growing. And yeah. started off with the cow mirror which you know you guys will go if you guys go all the way back down the video you'll see the first time I went to the track on wastegate this thing went 630 eighth mile on wastegate making 700 horsepower so you guys always ask about times there's your little hint i mean that was god how long ago was that that was two or three years ago 
that was a very long time. The cow has grown into something that I never imagined it would. Um, along with that, we picked up the salty chicken, which I don't really highlight the salty chicken that much lately because not much has been going on. We're kind of in limbo right now, uh, waiting for a couple things to happen. But the salty chicken, you know, is my dream build. The cow marrow is my dream car. I've always wanted something badass like this and it's new and it's a, a body style you don't see too much. Uh, so it is my dream car, but the Salty Chicken is like my dream race car. Uh, it's going to be everything that I could have ever wanted. Every part that is on there right now, as of right now, today, every part that is on there is the, in my eyes, you know, the perfect part, suspension-wise, rear-end-wise. I mean, I'm so happy with, with everything on that build, and it is truly my dream car that I'm building. I wanted to have a, a race car and I have a vision and everything that I've been thinking of is, is falling into place, which I couldn't be any, uh, any happier about. And then we got the boosted rooster, which was kind of just out of the blue and spiraled into this monster that it is today. And uh, so the channel itself has, has gone crazy a little bit, you could say, but I hope I'm providing you guys with the action that you guys uh, are looking for and hopefully you know I put my videos out around lunchtime hopefully you guys can enjoy your lunch and uh, hopefully it makes the day go by a little bit quicker if you can watch some of my videos and uh, just see you know experience what I'm doing you know I like to use the the YouTube channel as a, uh, a platform to share my experiences because I feel like what I do is unique to a certain extent no matter what happens we, we break a car uh, we break an axle, uh, we blow up the transmission, you know, I always come back smiling and having fun because uh, I'm extremely lucky to have uh, you guys out there watching and, and being such loyal fans and um, so supportive that allow me to do what I do. Uh, I feel like now we're just getting started, we're just getting the ball rolling. If you guys uh, haven't noticed, I've been posting daily uploads for almost a month now. I try to do daily. I miss two days. I, I keep a count. I miss two days. But we're trying to do daily uploads and keep it exciting. And um, today is Tuesday morning and I just felt like, you know, I woke up and I was looking through my uh, my comments and I had a bunch of questions about pretty much what's going on. So this is uh, like a little rundown of, of where we're at right now. So we got the Calmero here. It is all fixed up. I'm still waiting on my one rim from Carlisle Racing. The Boosted Rooster is all fixed up. It's sitting on the wheels for the Salty Chicken. And we're ready to go racing. We're waiting for the weather to break. The Salty Chicken is in the trailer. It's all gutted. It's ready to go. Its next step is down getting chassis work down at J&J Fab. We're going to do a 25-3 cage in it. We got Wes's G-Body sitting next to me right here. He's got the engine out. We are ordering his rotating assembly from Texas Speed today. Uh, Ryan, you guys just saw in the last video, just got his LS swap in the car. And Ben is wrapping Wrapping up on his later today we're going to be doing the rear end install uh, along with Chris who has his twin turbo Corvette uh, that is getting axles from RPM Motorsports uh, which means we'll be able to turn that sucker up so uh, to say we're firing on all cylinders over here is uh, an understatement we have so much action and so many different things going it, it can be quite overwhelming at times but uh, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. I couldn't do it with a number of people. Uh, you know, Jeff helped me really get the ball rolling with this thing. Uh, ben has been putting in amazing work lately on all the cars. Uh, he's kind of, uh, you know, the, the leader in the shop. Uh, and this channel is not really a instructional channel. I do like to throw in some tips, but Ben does great work, and uh, we go fast in some race cars and some street cars, and you know it's uh, it's great to have him around. So overall, you know, uh, the channel I think is uh, is great. We're just over 60,000 subscribers, which I feel like we're just starting to get some momentum here, and I'm having a blast. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for stopping in and watching these videos and always hitting that thumbs up because uh, it means more to me than you guys will ever know. We launched the brand Ellis Nasty. Uh, earlier this year and it's been absolutely amazing. You guys have been so supportive in purchasing shirts and uh, buying merchandise and stickers and hats that I could barely keep up, uh, which is what I like. It's tough to keep stuff in stock, I'll tell you guys that. But as of now, it is, uh, it's pretty early in the morning here in North Carolina, so I'm gonna edit this video and get it fired off to you guys. 
Just wanted to give you guys an update of what we have going on. There's so many different moving parts. Sometimes uh, things can be forgotten. We're getting a couple things finalized and wrapped up before the Colorado build, but that will be taking off here shortly. Uh, we're going to be going to a ton of events. We're going to try to hit four more streetcar takeovers, go down to Cletus and Cars down in Florida, uh, along with all the standard 28 grudge races that we go to down at Red Springs or Fayetteville or Glott Motorsports Park. A lot of test and tune at Glott Motorsports Park. Uh, we sh we're working on an event at Glott Memorial Day weekend. Uh, so we got a ton of things going on. Hope you guys are excited. Hope you guys need to strap in, tighten the harnesses up because uh, we're about to go for a wild ride here shortly. But I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video didn't bore you guys and ruin your lunch. Like always, comment, like, subscribe. Go pick up some Ellis Nasty merch and we will see you guys in the next upload.